prompt engineering, basically what prompt engineering is, querying an AI interface such as ChatGPT to get a desired result. This type of technology and these types of careers are just booming and only predicted to skyrocket from here. Now, how do you get involved in prompt engineering if you don't come from a necessarily a tech background or software engineering background? Well, the good news is actually you don't need a formal certification or education within prompt engineering computer science technology. In fact, those of you who have a background in liberal arts research who are good writers, journalists perhaps, will do extremely well as a prompt engineer. And if you take a look at the what a prompt engineer makes, it's simply incredible how much they can get paid up to $400,000 if you have the right skill set. Now you ask, well, that's good and all, but how do I become a prompt engineer? And in this video, I'm going to take you through some basics about prompt engineering and how you can learn to be a prompt engineer. Guys, thanks a lot for coming to my channel. My name is Howard. I am a technology recruiter and entrepreneur based in Tokyo and San Francisco, where I talk about career, finance, personal development, and stuff related to upping your professional game. And if you like to hear about that kind of stuff, feel free to click and subscribe. It goes a long way in supporting the channel. So let's get right into it. Probably the best or well-known AI or generative AI technologies out there is ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI. And OpenAI kind of sets a standard in terms of developing a framework or instructions and or education on how to use AI. Probably the best places to go would be to access the open AI examples list where you get an idea of how prompts are arranged and how you actually use them. So for example, summarize for a second grader. And this is on the examples openai.api page that I've linked up on the show notes below. But it basically, if you're trying to describe the solar system or more specifically Jupiter to a second grader, you certainly don't want to try to explain it in terms or at levels that they're not going to understand. And by entering a prompt such as summarize content for a second grader, ChatGPT will actually do a great job simplifying the text so that a second grader could understand this his or her level. And on a professional level, what I like to do is to, there's an example for interview questions. Now you can get a great interview questions prior to your interview. Let's say you have an interview for a project management position and you can ask ChatGPT, hey, ChatGPT, give me a list of eight interview questions that I would have as a project manager for a senior level application developer. And it will give you a great summary and list of eight questions that you can use and kind of prepare for yourself prior to your interview. So you get an idea of how AI or more specifically generative AI is used. OpenAI also does provide best practices page where it shows you the kind of way that you should go out and develop a good prompt or what the components or constituents are of a good prompt. And it walks you through some examples of what constitutes a good prompt, what is a good prompt, and you have a clear idea of the way to construct a good prompt and then get the type of results that you want. And think of prompt engineering is like, in a way it's like software engineering because you're not going to go through the first iteration, second, third, fourth iteration, you get an idea or a better idea. And actually the results get better as you go along. So keep that in mind as you play around with the chat GPT, open AI best practices page, and also the playground, what they call is kind of like a area in which you can kind of test, develop, and play around with the prompts at your own speed and own level. Now that you've got the fundamentals of how prompt engineering works, you may want to continue your education by taking certifications and or classes. Now you can get all the information that you need on the web, and that's certainly available to you. But what the structured courses and classes offer you is modules that you can take and that you can complete and then see your progression. And it's probably a more organized fashion in which if you're serious about prompt engineering, you can follow and get certifications with. Two of the really effective ones I found is offered by, one is by Coursera, a doctor at the Vanderbilt University who is well respected and well renowned for his research in AI and semantics and generative AI. His name is Dr. Jules White and the course is very comprehensive. It takes a long time to get through, but at the end of the course, you do receive a good certification and a good idea of how prompt engineering works. A second also equally good online education platform is given by a group of thought leaders within the AI space, and that is learnprompt.org. Now, learnprompt.org actually gives you a good variety of different types of courses you can take that would apply to, say, research, it would apply to commerce, a lot of different types of case scenarios. So if you wanted to find out how you would use AI in a particular industry, most likely will give you a good background and course coverage on the type of information and materials that you see. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's videos and got a good basic understanding of how prompt engineering works and how
how you can develop a career as a prompt engineer. And just to go over the point again, that you don't need a computer science background or technology degree. If you have good writing skills, good research skills, good creative mind, there's nothing stopping you from becoming a good prompt engineer and getting well recognized in the industry and making a lot of money out of this career. Until next time, thanks a lot.